Good morning, everyone. It's Christine. I hope you all had a great weekend. So I wanted to talk today about some sensory bottles I've made over the weekend. These are ones that we use in the classrooms. I made quite a few different ones with different bottles so you can see the differences. I have to split them up between classrooms. So I'm gonna show you some of the cool ones I've made. And I made a mistake on one and I didn't mean to, but it worked out in my favor and I'm gonna show you what happened. But I'm gonna start with one that, um, this one was interesting. This was my rainbow bottle. So this one's really hard to see. I learned on this one. So this one is, all it is is hair gel. And then I used food coloring. They said you use paint water coloring, but I used food coloring. And so anyways, I've got my red, my yellow, my green, my blue. Purple was really hard. And then I started over with red and then yellow towards the top. But this is my rainbow one. This is this one that is already sealed. The kids can just walk around with it. They can't open it up and they can just hold it. But this is my rainbow one. So if I don't know if you can see that, yep. There's my rainbow gel, and this is just hair gel. My next one, this one is really cool. This is, um, I did, okay, so these are the core bottles. This is my science one. This is my science one that goes in the science center, and it has bingo chips in it. And in the bingo chips, so you can see it, watch. You can move them. So this is the one for the kids. They can sit down at the table and you can put different stuff in them. Now I made multiples with different size bottles for the different classrooms, depending on age. And um, you can put like paper clips in there, pipe cleaners. I have some other ones I'm gonna be doing, but this is the bingo chip one. I bought, a, I bought sets on Amazon Prime. And I just mixed all the colors. But like I said, the kids love this. And it's calming too. So if you have one that you need to distract that are in a moment, then I would use one of these bottles. And these are easy to make. This is a core water bottle that I used. Then the next size is, now this is out of the Propel bottle. This is a Propel bottle. So this one's a little bit smaller. It's easier to hold. The other one was bigger. Um, and this was the same thing. They can move them up and down. You can have them make their own. You can even make one with stuff that doesn't have um, magnetic in it and see if they can see if it works or not and mix them all up. So here's my other magnetic one. And then I made a baby one um, for my younger kids in the younger classroom because it's just easier to hold. And so these are just all bingo chips. And like I said, you can put other stuff in there that's magnetic. And then in this, just so you know, I used baby oil. So it's baby, I did originally have all baby oil, but you can cut it half and half. So I did water and baby oil. I feel like it moves um, easier with, when you cut it half and half. When it's with the oil, it's a little bit longer for it to move. But I got my wands to go with it. So these are my science. Then this is my mistake. So in the directions, it said to use mineral oil. So I bought in mineral oil. I thought I bought the right mineral oil and I did not. So I ended it up with like a lava lamp. So I think this is pretty cool. This is my one and this is mineral oil and it's actually from the hair section at the store. So it's thicker. So you can see how thick that is. I cannot move it with the magnet. So sometimes when you make mistakes, they go in your favor. So my husband and I, I was like, wait a minute, the chips were just on top and they're gone. And we started looking at it and it's actually like a lava lamp. This is gonna be a great timer. I thought, you know what? This is gonna be so cool because we can tell the kids they need to watch it when it gets halfway down or all the way down to the bottom. If they need to calm down in the safe spot and then just make sure you seal them. You can use super glue, you can use Gorilla Glue, glue. you could use, um, I'm gonna use a glue gun to seal these and then some probably some tape on top. But this is actually like a lava lamp. This is actually my mistake. This is mineral oil and it was really thick and it was in the hair section at Walgreens. Um, I grabbed it thinking it was just like baby oil, but this worked in my favor because it reminds me of a lava lamp when I was a kid. So now I have my own and I'm sure you can put some food coloring in it if you want and stuff. I do have another sensory bottle I'm making. I am missing one component. This one's coming up. It's gonna be really cool later this week. I just have to find it. And then I'll put that one together and show you guys what you can do for nap time with your kids. And another one that is for science and it's super cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed my sensory bottles. I still think this is probably, between the lava lamp, this is probably one of my other favorite ones. Like I said, core bottles are great for them to use, but you can talk about colors and science, and I think my kids are gonna get a kick out of this. So anyways, if you guys ever have any questions, you guys can always message me. Thank you for watching, and you guys have an amazing, great day. I'll talk to you later.